It is April. I'm wearing a turtleneck. That's what happens when you haven't done laundry in way too long. All right, so today we have a shadow and schmooze on the look I'm wearing right now. And pretty much my whole look today was centered around the Shan XO palette. Between XO Beauty and just everything else she's done, I really admire Shannon. So this is like the opposite of a spring look right now, but I wanted to do something with like cool tones in this palette because I feel like there are a lot of warm tones and there'll probably be a lot of looks coming out using all the warm tones in this palette, which I think are beautiful, but I just wanted to try and do something a little bit different. So if you guys wanna see how I got this look, you're in the right place, just keep watching. I have two foundations here that I haven't used in a while, so we're gonna use today. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I don't think I've ever, did I ever include this? I don't think I've ever included this in a shadow and schmooze. Maybe I did when it first came out. I probably did. But I'm going to mix it in with the Custom Cover Drops by Cover Effects. I love these things. I have the shade N10, which is a really nice neutral shade. These just add coverage to pretty much anything. You can mix them in with a foundation. You can mix them in with moisturizer, a primer, anything you want. Sunscreen. So I have the shade Y205 in this, and it is super pale. If you're a pale princess, that will be light enough. I'm just going to add in a few drops of this because this foundation is not nearly enough coverage for me right now. Whoa, where are you going, man? They are super messy. Like, I just got that pretty much everywhere except the bottle. Look at this. I've already washed, moisturized, and primed my face. Pro tip, don't try to wash your face with a turtleneck on. Today I used the Smashbox Primer Water. And to apply this, I'm using my Sigma F80 Flat Top Foundation Brush. I did post a whole favorite makeup brushes video, so if you missed that, go watch it. It didn't send out to people's subscription feeds, so that was kind of a bummer. thought about re-uploading it, but whatever. Let's just get down here. If you have acne or skin issues that you need to cover up, I think the cover effect drops are worth the investment. This is looking really nice, actually, this combo. The finish is like a super nice satin finish. Okay, the second layer made my face look pretty much flawless. I really like the finish of this. Even with two layers, it's sitting on really well, and I feel like I get the coverage I want. Going in with <clears throat> Urban Decay Naked Concealer today, one of my favorites. I'm going to bring a tiny bit of this down the center of my face. So set the under eyes, going in with my Stargazer powder, like usual. This is $5 off of Amazon, and it is amazing. But today is Sunday, I was planning on taking today off because I filmed and edited yesterday, but I totally forgot that I'm going to be not able to film for like the next few weeks. My parents are coming into town next weekend, and then the weekend after that I go to Iceland for two weeks. So we are pre-filming right now, I'm not sure when this video will be up, but I may be chilling in Iceland. If you want to follow along that trip, you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Snapchat is the Taylor Snaps. Instagram is the Taylor. I think I'm gonna let the face set a little bit. I don't really feel like applying a setting powder today, so I'm just gonna do my brows. And I've gotten a lot of questions about why I still do my brows, even though I got permanent brows. Like I can mention that video, the shape I got, I didn't want it to be a fully filled in shape. I wanted to still be able to change the shape of my eyebrows and like add more if I was feeling like it. So whenever I do a full face of makeup with like false lashes and everything, I do like to add some more shape to my brows. When I'm just going to work, I'll just throw in some brow gel and like a little bit of brow product, if that. So that's just what I like. So I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop brow pencil in the shade Bangin' Brunette. Love this thing. And then the Ulta brow gel over top. All right, so we're gonna move on to the eyeballs. So this is the Lancome La Base. I've been feeling this like over my MAC Prepping, or not Prepping Prime, what's it called? Paint Pot. I just really like the way this goes on. I feel like my shadows are easy to blend on top of it and it does give a little bit of coverage to your lids. I got this off of Glambot. Super excited for today's eye look because we are going in with the Shannon XO palette. Shannon collabed with BH Cosmetics and made this freaking beautiful palette. There are nine eyeshadow shades, like, Look at those. Nine lipstick shades. I posted a picture of this on Instagram. I'm just super proud of Shannon. I've been watching Shannon for years and I think this is absolutely amazing. People were commenting on Instagram saying that these shades were super similar to the Manny MUA palette and I think people don't realize that like these kind of collaborations take months and months and months to happen. I don't know but she was probably working on this for a good at least six months. At least probably longer than that. So it's not like the Manny MUA palette came out and Shannon like copied it. Um, and even so, like, these are the popular colors right now. If you look at the eyeshadow colors that are popular right now, it's these, like, orangey, warm tones, so I'm excited for both of them. So I'm going in with this orangey shade right here, and I'm just using a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E27. 
super pretty transition shade this reminds me of peach smoothie i don't know what it is about this primer but the eyeshadows just blend out so much easier on top of this and i have no idea what kind of look i'm going to go for today i'm just gonna swatch some of the oh yeah look at that shade that is so pretty there's a super pretty duochrome shade in here this one i kind of want to do something with that deep chocolate brown shade just because i feel like that's not going to be the most reached for color i'm actually going to start out with this elf eyeshadow to put down first this is socialite else pigments these loose eyeshadows are like totally underrated these are awesome especially if you wet them which is what we're gonna do you get like a super pretty metallic look so i'm gonna take my coastal sense s52 brush this is a nice synthetic brush and some fix plus if i can find it i'm gonna first spray my brush with fix plus then i'm gonna dip it into this pigment and use the lid to kind of work the shadow in and get it really metallic and wet and then i'm just going to oh my god do you guys see that so pretty Fix Plus smells so good, like I would buy this in a perfume if they made it. And I'm just going to bring this right up to my crease area. We're going to be blending out the edges and everything, so don't even worry. Next I'm going to go in with the dark shade in here, right here. Taking this on a super small blending brush, this is the SO8 by Coastal Scents. Outer corner first, yeah. I think we're going to do like a halo eye situation, so I'm going to put that on the inner corner. I'm going to take an empty brush as a 250 and just turn this sideways to blend some of those edges out a bit. Basically just blending that into the first transition shade we put down. For the center of the eye, I'm debating between these two shades. I kind of want to do the lighter one. Ooh, that could be super pretty though. First I'm going to go in with that rose shade and just put that right in the center and then if we need a little bit lighter we can go in with that other shade oh this is so pretty the shadows are super soft and this is a really affordable palette my lips are like peeling off right now what is going on comment down below if you guys have any killer chapsticks or super dry lips i've been using bliss text but i feel like it stopped working okay i think i'm feeling that like rose shade so i'm just gonna go in with a brush and apply some fix plus just to get it a little more intense Super pretty. I just want to like shower in MAC Fix Plus. I'm not bringing this all the way into the inner corner because I do want to keep that like halo look. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Geek Black Liner Obsidian. I'm hoping this is better than the... I used the purple liner in my strobe live stream uh, the other night and that one wasn't very pigmented. So I hope this is better if I can get the top off. Okay. Totally just broke the tip off trying to get that open. Honestly, don't feel like sharpening that right now, so we're gonna find another one. I'm gonna go in with the Julep Black Liner. This is actually a really nice waterline eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with that dark shade again, and I'm using the Morphe M515, which is a super tiny brush and is great for blending out eyeliner. These shadows have like no fallout, which is really nice. I'm gonna blend this shade on the lower lash line just to blend that out a little bit. Not sure how it's gonna look because it's a little shimmery, but let's just go for it. Okay, I actually really like that. It gives it a nice pinky tone under there. Okay, so for the bottom inner corner, I'm gonna take that light shade right here, spray some Fix Plus, and put that just on the lower inner corner. I had a 2 a.m. craving for hot Cheetos last night. Almost spent $10 to Postmates Cheetos, and the urge has come back. Oh, that is so pretty. I almost think I could use this shade as like a face highlight. We might try that. Just so you guys can see up close for a sec. Debating doing liquid eyeliner right now, I kind of just want to do like intense lashes. So I'm going to go in with some mascara, just coat my lashes first. Random thought, don't you think hot Cheetos would be like really good mixed in with scrambled eggs? By the way, I'm not a fan of this mascara, which is why I only use it to coat my lashes before falsies and that's a root touch up coffee break. Mm, nice and cold. By the way, side note, while I'm thinking about it, I made an Airbnb. I mean, an Airbnb. <laughs> I was just looking at the app. I made a Poshmark the other day and I put a ton of stuff on there. So if you guys haven't checked it out yet, you can go shop my closet. Someone already bought the dress that I wore in my Mad Men tutorial, but there's a bunch of other clothes on there. I'm like addicted to Poshmark now. I found size four shoes on there last night. For lashes, I think I'm gonna use the, my trusty Kara S4. These are dollar lashes and they're pretty bomb. These are gonna be ready to toss after this 
application because what is on here? So I think I found my new favorite lash glue. I heard a lot of good stuff about the House of Lashes lash glue. So I ordered the mini size. I got the black version and then also clear white version. And I used this yesterday on my eyes and I'm usually someone that has super sensitive eyes when it comes to lash adhesive. I've tried latex free, I've tried everything, and I actually was able to keep my lashes on all day. My eyes didn't burn at all. So, so far liking this lash glue. I'm going to try the dark version today. Yesterday I used just the clear version. All right, now that we've got our lashes on, I really like how you don't have to cover the band when you use dark lash glue. It dries super fast, super nice. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is my favorite bottom lash mascara. It has super tiny bristles and it's just easy to get in there. Now, let us move on to the face. Feels a little bit more set right now. I'm really liking the way this foundation combo looks. There's no texture really showing through, but I still have full coverage. So I'm gonna use this Makeup Geek little palette thing. I have two contour shades in here and I used this one the other day. I showed you guys on Snapchat. It looked a little bit muddy. I'm not sure if I just applied too much, but I'm gonna try this one today, maybe a mix of the two. So I'm gonna use the warmer one first. Oh, this looks pretty warm. Okay, I'm gonna mix the two. Ooh, I feel like that one looks quite warm. So I'm thinking about using this shadow as a highlight. Let's try it. Ooh, oh yeah. What the heck? Uh, okay, that is gorgeous. I feel like since it's not a super powdery eyeshadow, it's sitting really nicely on the face. Okay, I really like that. I feel like that just gave my face such a nice glow. For blush, I'm gonna try this Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Adorable. I haven't tried this in a while, so I don't really remember what I think about this. But I'm just gonna put that on the apples. Nice. I feel like that's a nice, very natural pink shade. So for lips, I kind of want to do a light purpley grayish lip. I'm going to go digging and see what I have. I think I'm going to first go in with ColourPop Marshmallow. And these are their Ultra Satin Lips, which I like a lot better than their Ultra Matte Lips. They just feel a lot better on the lips. They're not as drying at all. So if you didn't like the matte ones, try out the Satin Lips. These are still pretty long lasting. I did a full review on these guys, so I'll link that down below. These also mask the dryness pretty well. Fill in that shade, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on top. I kinda wanna go in with this, either the rosy gold one or the light one and just put it in the center of my lips. I think I'm gonna take that rosy gold one, just a tiny bit. Super pretty. Might even take a tiny bit of that lighter one and just put it right on the center. And also the Cupid's bow. Alright, so this is the final look. I feel like that was a pretty fast shadow and schmooze. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up so I know. Comment down below with what looks you guys want to see next or if there are any specific products you want to see in the next shadow and schmooze. If you're new to my channel, join the Bayrito family and subscribe. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.